David is a very dedicated individual and a very accomplished individual, but he's also very modest and unassuming. Wonderful husband, wonderful family man. I just admired him from the first time I ever met him. He's not somebody who is going to be telling you how smart he is. All you have to do is talk to him for a little while to find out that's true. When he draws a bead on something, uh, it's in the crosshairs and step out of the way because he's likely to achieve it. That's what he's brought to, uh, to his early academic career as well as his sports efforts. And certainly that has, has motivated him at UT. I had a lot of friends from Pasco that went to UT. It was the best place in Texas to go. There are a lot of great people that picked it, and he's one of them. When he went to UT, he had scholarship offers from Ivy League school that he chose not to accept because his whole life he wanted to go to UT. Well, he was a member of Silver Spurs, which is a great honor. And uh, his dedication to his academics and certainly to uh, you know his fraternity and his Silver Spurs were major activities he was involved in during his undergraduate days. David's desire to be a doctor was very clear from the time he was in college. And frankly, you know, what he learned at the University of Texas launched him into an unbelievable career in medicine. I remember helping him do his first uh, hernia repair, which was what you start out with was a simple surgery. And I showed him how to do it. And then the next one, I let him do it. And I realized he could do it better than I could. He is 25% faster than the other open heart surgeons. And he's performed well over 20,000 procedures. When you combine the kind of wicked smart that David is with the uh, commitment, the intensity with which he approaches most everything that he cares about, that's when you find in a handful of people, excellence. The two guys that were his mentors invented open heart surgery. You can imagine the qualifications that Denton Cooley and the other principals of the Texas Heart Institute were looking for in selecting the next surgeon in chief. The fact that David was selected for that position speaks volumes about his capability, his integrity, and what he means to the business and patient community. And in that role, uh, he is taking um, a hospital and clinic, and it's been ranked in the top 10 for as long as I can remember, and my memory goes back to 1970s. And I'm gonna tell you, there's nobody in this world better than Dr. Ott, and without question, that's who I'd recommend. I had a first surgery at two days old that was uh, fixed to my original aortic valve. I had another surgery at 25 to replace my aortic valve with a pig valve, and had another surgery at 34 uh, to replace it with a mechanical valve. Feel great, uh, couldn't be happier. His life has benefited thousands of patients, literally. Extremely loyal, not only to the patients, the patient care, to his school, to his colleagues, and certainly to his family. And what kind of citizens those kids and grandkids are growing into, I think is the best uh, tribute that uh, I can give them. One of the greatest accomplishments with his family is that they all went to the University of Texas. David's dedication to UT is certainly shown in the uh, scholarships that he has granted to the school, both in pre-med and also for the athletic department. If you prick David's finger in the, in the operating room, I'm quite satisfied that the room would take on a burnt orange glow. If UT was looking for a role model, he and Pam have made immeasurable contributions that are deserving that recognition and are the kind of role models that UT ought to aspire to recognize. I owe David up my life. You know, my family owes him uh, my life. Without him, wouldn't have two beautiful girls, uh, wouldn't have my second and third chance at life. I owe everything to him.